I am down to one camera again. Um, and it's just technical. Anyway, I'm uh, going to start doing the beadwork down a sleeve and working on the dress itself. Uh, especially where the wrinkles are going to be. Um, I can't do anything with the hair till everything under the hair is finished. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. Now what I need to do is I need to roll out the clay for the beadwork. And I got to get it a certain thickness. This is the example here of the thickness I want to make it. Okay, I've got to line up her uh, beadwork with the uh, beadwork coming off the back of her neck. It took me a little while to figure out how the beadwork was done. It's almost a, an illusion. It's kind of cool though. How they uh, made the beadwork flow like that. You can bet that beadwork is heavy too. Okay, put the final row of beads in place on this sleeve that looks pretty damn good Okay. Well, this wrinkle is going to be moving over a little bit now. Now the uh, sleeves are large areas of the deer skin. 
that uh, form the sleeves. They're not like a regular sleeve. They're not. They don't have a seam underneath the arm, or and so they are just fluid, loose parts of the uh, skin of the deer. And uh, that's what I've got to try to form here. And I'm trying, my finger's numb right there, so I, it's hard for me to do this because it, I can't really feel what I'm doing. Gonna have to work on that wrinkle a little bit. Okay, this wrinkle's gonna sort of disappear behind this big one. that wrinkle even deeper in there so Because of the action of her shoulder coming forward for this arm, it's causing the dress to wrinkle a little bit. It's like ripples on a water. A pebble hits the water, it causes ripples across the, uh, the surface of the water. Well, if you move part of your body, it will cause ripples on the clothing going across and that's what I'm trying to portray You can see that if I put her uh, braid on, how it would disrupt or make it very much harder to do what I'm doing right now. If there's a wrinkle right there, I've got to reflect that here. Not a huge wrinkle, just a slight wrinkle. Sometimes they would uh, put rabbit fur just peeking out from under the seam i'm not going to do that on this because rabbit fur would cause problems casting all right what i'm trying to do is put some stitching not too deep but just deep enough to indicate stitching hand stitching that was bad. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the photograph of the girl and trying to interpret the wrinkles in her dress. She has her arm up a little higher, uh, looking through a mirror, but almost the same position. So I can take a look at the uh, wrinkles in her dress and try to emulate. All right, I'd like to go a little further, but I can't. I've got uh, 
a friend coming over, so I'm going to have to call it for the day. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.